friends. I mean, brands. Okay. Are makeup items. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, eyeshadow. I'm I'm just a simple eyeshadow girl. So I feel like any 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 like browns will do. You know. So I don't really have yep. like, a favorite favorite, but definitely my, my favorite lipstick. Let's discontinue. I would try. Sneeze every time I put on mascara. <laughs> because. Because I don't really put on mascara. I don't usually put on mascara unless it's like I don't know. It's like really like a mood thing because okay. I don't really have lashes to begin with. So I'm always <laughs> like, if I really want to do something with my lashes, it will always just, it will always just be like forties. It's never okay. like I'm not blessed with the really long eyelashes, you know. <laughs> Congratulations, of course, for dollars, Raya song, Raya, Raya. So it's much. such a catch, okay? Genuinely, it it's like stuck in my head. Sometimes I'm just doing work and That's I'm just what like. Everyone it, says. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's it's so catchy. Like it's simple and it's catchy. And yeah, okay, yeah. you guys released it about like two weeks plus ago, and already two million plus views. I know. On YouTube, okay? That's kind How of do you crazy. feel about that whole thing? Oh, uh, honestly, I mean, hitting one million. In the first like week was already like kind of like a shocker, you know, because we weren't expecting it to get like that much traction and that amount of time. But then we hit two million like not too long ago, and we were just like, "This is crazy." So I think I think it it's a good song. I, I think it's just a good riot song in general, and I think people can appreciate it and enjoy it. You know, it's a very simple, straightforward song. It's catchy, easy to sing. So uh, yeah, I think I, we were just really ecstatic and super happy. About it. So we know that dance is like your thing. Mm -hmm. Like dance is something yeah. that you genuinely love to do. And I just want to know, was it something that has always been a part of you since you were a kid, or did it like, you know, did it kind of just come up later on, or yeah? It is something that I've been super into ever since I was a kid. You know, like in kindergarten, we always have, we always have like the year end. Concert, you know what I'm saying, and I've always been like a part of that. Um, and then I was in primary school, and then I joined the um, like tarian, like traditional dance. Yeah. So from there, it just like it just blossomed into like I guess what it is now. So I, I would say it's a passion love from ever since I was a child until now, and it's it's never been something that I really really focused on like. I had no intention of making it like my main, like my main career, but okay. it somehow happened because I was before this, before this I was just studying, right? I was doing like normal college, whatever, okay. and yeah, somehow it just became my bread and butter. So I also want to talk about another part of your life. Congratulations on Bronze and Co. <gasps> oh that my god! Yeah. So, a bronze and coat is like a beauty and makeup, skincare kind of like a line that you recently you recently started. And honestly, Very I thought cool, it was yeah. so cool. I thought it was so cool. I just want to know like the whole backstory to it. The like, whole like, backstory. yes. Okay. So, um, actually, I wanted to do. I wanted to launch um, this bronze and coat prior to even uh, debuting two dollar. Um, okay. But um, the, I guess the timing wasn't right that time, so um, I decided to, you know, put it on hold. And then now I thought it was a good time, so I was like, okay, you know, what, I'm just gonna do it. But the reason why I came about with Bronze and Co was initially because I was studying back in the day I was studying in the states, right? I was studying in the states, and I was a, I was a broke girl. I was a broke college student. You know, it's like the normal thing. And I was working like, you know, like a lifeguard job. So I was like, you know, but I, I still love makeup. Like makeup is something that I enjoy doing. It's fun, and I love to go to their like drugstore, their pharmacy, and they have like all these amazing, good quality options at like super super cheap prices. And I was like, oh snap! And that's where actually I really got into makeup because I actually had enough money to get all these like cheaper makeup, mm -hmm. and then experimented it on my face and stuff. So I was like, you know what? When I came back here, I was like, I'm just gonna make it more accessible for my line, for everybody, you know. Are you planning on expanding like past lip products? Like, how's that looking right now? We are <laughs> definitely gonna past lip product because, I mean, nowadays people be wearing masks, you know, and the attention is all over here. So maybe right. something around this region, you know. 
so 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 we'll see we'll see yeah who is most likely to to take care of the others when they are sick i would say maybe tabby <laughs> And you'd butcher this. You're doing so well. <laughs> and Tabby's just always there. Like she's always on standby, ready, you know, and ready to help, ready to whatever. Yeah. But I mean, I'll, like if anyone gets sick, we will all kind of like. Of course, of course. Them. Yeah. Okay, but right. Generally. Tabby. Okay. Who is more likely to embarrass a friend in public? Angie. Or me. Okay. I honestly or this- me. Had a lot of mixed answers. Yeah. Okay. Angie or me, I think. I don't know. I, I'm a bit, I can be a bit dumb sometimes in public. <laughs> so, like, it could be me. But Angie is very, very, like, she could just pull out anything out of the fly. So, yeah. She okay. Could be yep, yep, yep. Who is most likely to get in a fight? Me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other. Girl said you too. <laughs> oh my god, uh, me! No, you yeah, fight I mean, me. You fight I me. Mean, no, I'm not okay. No, I'm not that feisty. Okay, but um, if 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 uh if the situation does call for some feistiness, okay, it will happen. But it takes a lot for the feistiness to come out, you know. Just, of course. Uh, but it, it could happen. <laughs> What do you think of, of the chances of being the choreographer for Dollar's next music video? Ooh, ooh. choreographer, me? Um, I would love to. No, I think it's more so like, obviously, I cannot um, okay. like choreograph the whole thing by myself because I don't think I have the mental capacity for it. But right now, we are working with Ezra as we have always been. Which is our choreographer since like day one, um, okay. but he does asks us for um, suggestions or any moves okay. like particular moves that we want to incorporate. So you know what? Maybe I might just incorporate some dance moves in there. Nice. So well, basically, you think, like the past music videos, there is a little bit of influence from the Dollar members themselves. Definitely, we definitely give our input because the choreography goes through like stages, right? There's like the the draft, and then there's like the and then there's the final version. So from the draft, the first draft to the final version, we we're always giving like our input and stuff. And Ezra is amazing because <laughs> he always like takes our word and you know works with us. So yeah. Honestly, um, Sabronzo, thank you so much for joining Five M on our TikTok live. It's been thank so, you so much. fun. Getting to know you, it was so fun yes. getting to know you. Like you know, I've been seeing you on IG. We all see Dollar on IG, but it's so nice to have this personal conversation <laughs> with you. Thank you again, Sabronzo. Bye, guys. Thank Good night. you. Fly, fly, fly FM.